What is your name? My name is Brendan Henshaw, aka B Henshaw, aka Hen, aka yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I like it. What's today's date? November seventeenth, twenty twenty-three. Twenty-nine. Way too close to third. In Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, in our new house. Oh, I'm feeling okay. I'm feeling decent. You understand? Know it's a good day. Mmm, a hundred and three thousand. Eight hundred and seventy-nine thousand. Two thousand and five hundred, I believe. Five hundred thousand. Five hundred and three thousand. That's it. A bowl of cinnamon toast crunch, you feel me? A bowl of cinnamon toast crunch. Murder on my mind remix. Uh, the 15 second short has 50 million views and it is probably at like 1.2 million likes. And then on TikTok, my mom's watch video has 1.1 million views for reaction. It's one of those. Uh, I watched the Ravens lose. To the, no, I watched the Bengals lose to the Ravens, and then I watched New Amsterdam, I believe, which is a medical TV show. Check it out on Peacock. Probably Colin Raya or DJ Afterthought. One of those two, Colin Raya, probably. Um, either either Stefania, the basketball player, the girl that used to carry around the basketball hoop, or Colin Raya. He got game 13s for sure. And it's the good shoe, if you ask me. But in 2017, I performed at a drag show as like a promotion for, like a promo for uh, Clarion's Got Talent at my college. And there was like 400 some people there. I think that's the biggest crowd I got so far. Um. I'm gonna go with Iowa University. The Iowa University show is lit. It was real good. It was fun. I'm saying I would rather love to go back. That's a tough question. Are we talking about like goods? Are we talking about like? Um, my favorite artist right now, the most listened to person I'm listening to right now is probably I don't even know. I'm gonna go Jermaine Cole. Jerk and Jermaine Cole. That's my that's my guy. I'm listening to the most. I guess. Ooh, that's a good one. Um. Probably like three or four times a week at this point. Nothing too crazy. I believe that I'll be living in LA and hopefully very successful with music. Reaching the peaks and stuff. Trying to find my happiness is going to that sound. I feel like that's peace and happiness is what I'm happy to figure out. Keep going. Stay consistent, keep going, don't, let, don't listen to anybody but yourself, because we got this far, so, yeah, I mean, we know what we're doing, even if there's some doubts sometimes, we got this. I guess the biggest achievement would be 500,000 on YouTube, 500,000 subscribers on YouTube is pretty big, so, yeah, I guess that's, yeah, half a million, that's my biggest accomplishment so far. My favorite movie of all time is Paying Fool, but my favorite movie currently is probably like when I come to watch it again and again and again. Um, I'm gonna go with the Harry Potters. I'm listening to I can't be watching the Harry Potters right now. We just watched Prisoner Azkaban a couple days ago, so my my least Harry Potter. It's tough one. Um, probably something old. I don't like love story. Every love story. You know what? Every single relationship that I reference, like every single one that I referenced in Love Story has came out as cheating or divorced or all types of crazy stuff since I've made that song. So I don't like Love Story because I think it's cursed. My bad, Will. <laughs> That's a tough one. Uh, I've made some crazy videos in my life. Um, I poured milk on my head one time. That was pretty bad. What's the craziest one you've ever seen? Uh, it's kind of, 
maybe the milk on my head. Yeah, I'm gonna go with the milk on my head. That was good. Um, yeah, for sure. I would like to say I don't, but I, I feel like, yeah, for sure. I feel like a lot of people expect a lot out of me. I expect a lot out of myself, and I don't think I blink for all the time, so yeah, I feel pretty good. Oh, no. What's the mm. To always be yourself, no matter what. Nope, don't got one yet. I'll let y'all know next year. <sighs> we don't know what uh, I would like to work with Drake, J. Cole, um, obviously 50 Cent. There's all the good, all the great people. You know what I'm talking about. All the people that are from the early 2000s and up. But uh, I would say someone like that's realistic right now. Um, Fresco Trey. I think working with Fresco Trey would be harder to on a Friday. It's really tough. Mm, I want to go to Greece real bad. I want to go to Italy, but if we're talking United States, I probably want to go to, I want to go to New York soon, it's been a while, yeah, let's go with New York and Spain, those two places, Sky Blue, for sure, Carolina Blue, correction, plain and simple, I need to work on it, my fashion's not too crazy, I have sweatpants up most of the time, but we work on it, we're getting there, um, I think the music industry's in an okay place, I mean, you still got the, the Drake's and J. Cole's, like, Drake, I keep bringing up Drake and J. Cole, how many times did I say that? But they just dropped a song yesterday, and then, they had, you know, Drake just dropped the album. He just dropped Scary Album, or Scary Album 3 last night. So there's the ghosts are there, and then you still got old heads dropping music, like Andre 3000, I heard is about to drop something, and then Jay Z's. I, I think we're in a good place. We got some good guys coming up, coming, and we got some old heads in the game, so I think we're in a good place. Dude, that's a good question. Um. So, there's a bunch of people that I think can be credited with this. Uh, there's a bunch of people that have helped me throughout my, my music career, like Reek and If, and then there's people like Varsity and Jake that have helped me a lot, and then my sister and my mom have been listening to me rap my whole life, so I think they've been very, very helpful. But I think the most person that's helped me the most probably is Haley so far, uh, just because of the uh, TikTok grind and stuff like that. Shout out him. Last flyer, right? Um, crushing it by Gary B. Oh yeah, for sure. I think uh, we started the year at like 200,000 subscribers. We're at like 500 on YouTube now. So we've made a lot of progress on a lot of stuff. Uh, I mean, I'm stagnant in some places, but you know what I mean? I feel like moving forward, we're moving inches. You know what I mean? We're making our way up. Making our way downtown, we're walking fast, the pace is fast, and I'm home now. Da 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 Oh, um, I think the last person I FaceTimed was B2, my homie B2, I think. It's like that's Cap, I FaceTimed Jake yesterday. The last person I FaceTimed was Jake. What'd you eat yesterday? Uh, I ate some hot Cheetos, I ate tuna noodle, I ate some Oreos, I ate a sandwich, a turkey and pepperoni sandwich, I ate, I think that's it, yeah, I think that's it, that's what I ate. Consistency and insecurities, uh, I just, I'm having a hard time getting in front of the camera a lot, but we're working on it, we're getting back to it, we'll be, we'll be straight. I love the Henny Gang. I'm thankful for y'all. I would not be where I'm at without the Henny Gang, and I can't wait to see where we take this. Well, last free thing that I got. Nordstrom sent me a Fear of God shirt. Um, I don't know the name of it exactly, but it's by some guy named Sam, I believe. It's called Old, and he talks about how um, how when he was a little kid he wanted to be like 23, and then when he became 23 he wanted to be 27, and now like life goes real fast, and he's like. I'm looking at the mirror and all I'm wondering is if a little kid's proud of me. This is like real, like a real deep song. I really fuck with it. So go check it out. I'll put it like right here somewhere. I hate being asked how to go viral and how I did it. I mean, not how I did it, but like how to go viral, like, and stuff like that. Um, a lot of people don't want to put in the words. It's really just about consistency. So 
I think that that's the question that frustrates me the most because I don't think one, a lot of people just don't follow the advice. Casanova, produced by JD Mavis. I don't know when it's coming, but it is a banger and I promise y'all are gonna love it. Um, I'd like to finish college. last TV show I watched was in Amsterdam, like I said earlier, but the last um, series that I finished was I finished The Power season, well, season 3 of Power or Season 2 of Tommy Force, whatever season it is and then I Found is a good show that I've been watching and I just finished Shelter on Amazon Prime and Gas um, Most Annoying Comic uh, None of them, I like them all I used to hate them, I used to let the caveman shit get to me and all that but I uh, personally very much like that you guys comment on my stuff because it runs into the algorithm. So, you know, keep doing that for me. Thanks. Good job, honey. Is that the interview? That's it. Katie Brown, come here! Hey. This is, this is Katie Brown. And we'll see you next year. That's a wrap.